All right, Shalom, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and blessings to the elect. Today I wanted to deal with uh, the topic of the new name written about in Revelations, the second chapter and the 17th verse. It reads, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man know it, saving he receiving it. So it says a new name here. So people get tripped up. You got certain people uh, use this as a, a foundation of saying that we do not know the name of the Most High and His Son on this side. And we should just call him God, Jesus, or whatever, you know, particular men are pushing out there. You know, you have scoffer, scoffers, so I can make any arguments with it as well. So um, I wanted to delve into that and give understanding of what this scripture means. All right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, hopefully you brothers and very few sisters who are listening are edified, all right? So we're going to start here with Exodus 3 and 15 to lay the foundation, all right? To get to the nitty gritty, all right? The scriptures are clear that the Most High has a name. Exodus 3 and 15. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say to the children of Israel, all right? The Lord, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me, all right? unto you this is my name forever okay all right and when you look up this name in the hebrew all right uh though we'll just we're just doing this for edification we brothers have seen it before it's yahweh all right clear clear as day all right you can go into a, a, the paleo hebrew and you'll get the same name yahweh all right written in its original form all right so the, it, clearly he told him here that this is my name forever Okay, in the previous verse, he said, uh, uh, I am, okay? Here, he's saying, you tell them, my name is, he is, Yahweh, and this is my name forever, okay? And, and this is my memorial unto all generations. So it said, this name, Yahweh, will be a memorial unto all generations, right? So let's get uh, Psalms 45 and 17. I will make my name to be remembered. Okay, now we got to focus on that word rem remembering in this lesson as well, because remembering is a big part of what's happening right now with us as men of the Lord and the sisters who, you know, were woke up because we got to understand, you know, there were sisters around who uh, followed and mourned after Yahweh Shai, you know, um, at the time that he was being crucified. So you're going to have particular women out there who, you know, they're going to be quiet. They, you ain't going to know who they are. You know, they'll deal with their particular husbands, but they may be some of those ancient spirits, all right, coming back who actually did mourn for Yahweh Shai. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind as well. All right. However, they do not need to be glorified. They don't need to be put on a pedestal. They don't need to be <laughs> anything else but what they are. All right. And that's a beautiful thing. All right. In order. All right. So, um, Isaiah chapter 45 and 17, and I will make thy name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, shall the people praise thee forever and ever. All right. Uh, uh, Psalms 135 and 13. Thy name, O Lord. All right. And this name is Yahweh. Endureth forever. All right. Then thy memorial throughout all generations. Thy memorial, O Yahweh, throughout all generations. So when you look this up, it's Yahweh. So. The, the, what we have today in a form of English it originally came from Hebrew scrolls, if this is what you have faith in, all right? So originally our forefathers had a particular name that was given unto them. So when you read Revelations 2 and 17, it clearly tells you that a new name will be given. So what is the understanding on this? Let's get it. Revelations chapter uh, 2. And 17, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. So he that hath an ear is the first thing that we need to focus on here. Who will have the ear to hear? Only those that is given into. Okay. So if this message here is clearly not for everybody because everybody does not have the ear. All right. Brothers who are in the spirit, you will see this and you will understand it for what it is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. It says, To him that overcometh, 
All right, so we're going to deal with every point of this scripture. All right, dead on. All right, let's get it. Deal with overcoming. Have we overcame? When did we overcome? Are we going to overcome just at the end in, in this flesh? Or is this flesh even matter? It's all about the spirit. First John chapter 2 and 13. I will write, I write unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men because ye have overcome the wicked one. So the, the elect, all right, and these fathers, because ye have known him, these See, this particular thing to call the elect is really just the in crowd, okay? And everybody else just has the Bible in their hands, sort of just playing with it and f f fulfilling their lot, you know? But the men of the Lord, all right, the, the, the true church, which would be on the planet Earth, which would be in order, which would go teaching no wayward, uh, crazy doctrine, and would stick to the path, all right? They're on the planet Earth. So these letters or for the elect and I believe through the spirit and my faith is that the most high is dealing with the apostles of great millstone on the planet earth as a foundation of something big that he wants to go on all right and I, I believe that this is the order and the straight gate that he wants us to come through in these last days if you have another belief fine do it your way we will see in the end according to the spirit of Yahabashim Yahushai who wins all right all right, so it says you have overcome the wicked. Well, let's read 1 John 2 and 14. I have written unto you fathers, <coughs> and the fathers are the children, right? It's all reincarnated because you have known him that is from the beginning. You know him that is from the beginning. You know, all right, Yahweh Shai was the one that, that dealt with the beginning. All right, the Most High doesn't have a beginning, okay? I have written unto you. All right, young men, and that's even something deep. You can't fathom how to mold. You, you can't fathom the fact that it's something before time or something that, that doesn't even deal with time. You can't fathom that with your mind because you're always going to deal with the premise and basis of time. The most high ain't deal. The scripture says in Job, his years can't be searched out. Okay. But Yahweh is the alpha and the omega. Okay. And when you go through that straight gate, there's a particular church in order you will be in and you will always come in that lot on the planet earth okay i have written unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written unto you young men because ye are strong and 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 the word of the most high abideth in you okay and ye have overcome the wicked one so there's a particular man all right who are on the planet earth that has already overcome when did they overcome is the question. Let's get Romans 8. Okay. Through the spirit. <laughs> Romans 8 says. Um, all right. 8 and 29. Romans 8 and 29. It says. All right. Start at 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the most high, which is a particular church. Gordon, if you in the spirit, this is only for that church and the only men that are going to come in order and come in a right and, and be of the Messiah or of this church. OK, it says to them who are called according to his purpose, that ain't everybody according to his purpose of what this word that ain't everybody. It says for from whom he did foreknow. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be firstborn among many brethren. Okay. So he foreknew these men. Okay. All right. So he predestinated them. Okay. Let's look up this word predestinate real quick. All right. Strong G 4309. Praarizo. All right. To predeterminate, decide beforehand. All right. To foreordain, to appoint beforehand. Okay. So there's a particular amount of men that were ordained from the foundation of the earth, which we'll get. All right. That were, were ordained to have the word and they were covered. All right. And they are the ones that are written about that will be delivered. 
all right from hell and and, and go up into the chariots all right it says um verse 30 moreover did he predestinate them also he called all right and from whom he called also he justified all right that means they have overcame they're already they already overcame because they're justified the word is already written you read the end of the scriptures in the bible okay so if you're justified you're going to be delivered at that time you've already overcome and whom he justified them he also glorified okay let's get ephesians 1 and 4 all right Ephesians 1 and 4, all right, all right, it says uh, 1 and 3, blessed be God and the fathers of our Lord, Yahawashai, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahawashai, so we, we have some serious top-notch knowledge, okay, if we are those men, all right, it says, uh, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love okay so when you read here in revelations 2 and 17 we have the understanding that they are there are some who have already overcome okay these men have already overcome these men would have the testimony these men would would be uh, the heads of the, the, the original and true church which would come back through the spirit because this is all done through spirituality there is a church there is a certain body of men who the most high chose to come onto the earth and push the word and push his true doctrine all right and if you don't believe that then ultimately you don't know what in the hell you're a part of now some say it's general Johanna. some say it's nate some say it's uh, uh bubble eyes you know some say it's uh, a guerrilla Hebrew, <laughs> you know, there's all types of people out there. So through the, our belief is that this church is the apostles of Great Millstone on down. All right. And that's what we have our faith in. And we're going to put our invest our, our oil into that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshat. We're going to move forward, man. OK, it says. So that we got the under overcoming part. It said, will I give to eat of the hidden manna and and will give him a white stone. All right. So what does this white stone represent? OK, what does this white stone represent? All right. We're going to get the understanding on this white stone. OK, because ultimately we, we also need to remember that the name in the Holy Scriptures was would be talked about to be polluted. OK, now. The scriptures also talk about how we are going to come into remembrance, which, which we'll get in just a minute. All right. But let's look at this word white stone. OK. All right. So we're going to get this word. Strong's G 5586. Safe us. Safe us. Safe us. All right. <laughs> Rock. OK. Now. All right, and that's 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 beautiful within itself, you know. Uh, Peter, um, it says in the ancient courts. All right, uh, let's read. It says a small, worn, smooth stone, a pebble. So it could also mean just a regular stone. But let's read this. It says in the ancient courts of justice, the accused were condemned by black pebbles, and and uh, acquitted by white. So. In, in the ancient Roman Empire, they had a system in their courts where if you were condemned or found guilty of the crime, okay, you uh, got a black pebble. Okay, and you were acquitted by white. What is this representative of? Okay, what is this stone talking about in the spirit? Because it's dealing with whether you are condemned or whether you are acquitted. Okay, that's what this stone represents. When you read in this in this scripture, okay. Now, what is this talking about? Let's get Ezekiel, um, Ezekiel nine and four. All right, Ezekiel nine and four. It says, um, "And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men." that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof okay so the lord said here to go set a mark on the men now what does this mark mean okay all right this mark means 
all right, Thawa, all right, uh, desire, Mark, okay, Mark as a sign of exemption from judgment, okay, so there are particular men on the planet earth, all right, when you read the scriptures, who are already exempt from judgment, who have already overcome, and were ultimately chosen, all right, <laughs> to overcome the wicked one, and to be the ones who would rule in the next world, all right, so we have the understanding on, okay, he that overcometh, all right, and it says, him I, he, I, he I, I will give of hidden of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, so we know that this white stone now here, all right, represents you not being condemned, all right, the scriptures say, blessed is the man, all right, who, who the Lord does not impute sin, all right, these men are the original church, all right, now let's get this real quick, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, it says, Give testimony unto those that thou possess from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. OK, so the scriptures uh, are clear here. The testimony is going to be given to a particular uh, group of men and wherever you put your faith in it has to match up with the scriptures. OK, uh, uh, we we have clear indicators of who the men of the Lord are through the the, the prophecies and through what happened to the men of the Lord and how they were perceived on the earth. That's that alone lets us know who the true men of the Lord are. All right. So let's get uh, revelations back here. So let's start over. It says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcometh. So we already went through the scriptures and proved to you that there are already men who have overcome. All right. I will give to eat of the hidden manna. All right, which the manna is what the the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. In in Egypt, the Lord dropped uh, manna out of heaven. All right, which fed the children of Israel. All right. Now, what do we have? The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which is given from Yahweh Shai. All right, that gives us understanding of who we are and feeds us in the spiritual famine that we're in out here in America. All right, and the church continues. All right, all through the spirit, all right, of reincarnation, which is the perfect system, all right, which will give you guaranteed victory over the beast, all right? So to him that overcometh, I will give to eat of hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone. What does this white stone represent in the scriptures? We found out that it, re it represents you not being judged, all right, for uh, uh, your sins, all right? You are not condemned. You get the white pebble. There are some people who are going to get the black pebble and be condemned and be judged for their uh, particular sins. All right. And it says in, in the stone, a new name. All right. Now, what does this mean when it says new name? Now, we have already established that the name was given to the children of Israel. We know that in Hebrews 13 and 8, it says that the Most High has ordained Yahawashai to be the same yesterday today and forever all right and he when he came to the earth planet earth and spoke to paul he put it it, it let us know as men of the lord he spoke in hebrew when you read that story it told us that in the hebrew tongue he said all of this so 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 if you believe in the scriptures and you believe in yahweh then you would have to believe that he spoke hebrew at that time it's that simple all right so the new name, what does this mean? Let's look up this word new, all right? Because you have New Jerusalem, right? Is that a, is that a particularly, a totally new place? No. New Jerusalem is, is going to be in that particular place, but it's going to be set up in righteousness, all right? It's going to be new. You have the new moon. Does that mean it's a new moon, like the Lord went and put a new moon there every time? No, it is the same moon, but it's, it is refreshed. So let's look at this word new. All right. Kainos. All right. It says new. All right. As respects from recently made fresh, recent, unused. All right. So we know through the scriptures that the so-called white man has polluted the name. We're going to get back to this, but let's get Ezekiel 39 and 7. All right, it says, so will I make my holy name 
known in the midst of my people Israel. So he's going to make that name renowned. We're going to remember. All right. Because the scriptures say that the name will be remembered. We're going to get into that in a minute. It says, I will make my name. Uh, make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore and the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh when you read it in the Hebrew the holy one in Israel so he's establishing that name again all right you can't change this this is already written so anybody trying to come change the foundation man you you're out of there all right no we have an original name all right when you even read the Dead Sea Scrolls a lot of people uh, 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 believed in the Dead Sea Scrolls, right? But when they, when they came across the name Yahweh, all right, they didn't write in that particular form of Hebrew that they were writing, and they read, wrote it in the Paleo Hebrew, as you'll see on the screen. All right, and it showed up in the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, shit, I think thousands of times. All right, if I if I'm not uh, um, mistaken, all right. So that name is there, all right. So the name we know was polluted, all right, at one point, all right? And how was that? Revelations 13 and 16, all right? And this is talking about the so-called white man, all right? Um, Revelations 13 and 6, it says, <clears throat> And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High, all right? To blaspheme his name, so he would blaspheme the name, blaspheme. What does blaspheme mean? Let's get the understanding on that. Um, Strong's G 988 blasphemia. 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 That's beautiful. Slander to retract speech injurious to another good another's good name. So <laughs> impious, reproachful speech injurious to divine majesty. Sacrilege, basically, all right? destroying that which is holy all right so slander so you would have a, a system set up on the planet earth at one point that would be set up to slander the name and they put they do it in all various ways all right we don't even have to get into that all right all right so it said they blasphemed his name and his tabernacle in them that dwelled in heaven okay so that happened on the planet earth right all right so this word new all right, it says recently made fresh, recent, unused, unworn. All right, as respects substance. Now, there's a scripture in uh, Second Ezra. All right, let's see. Uh... All right, Second Ezra six and twenty-eight. As for faith. It shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. All right. <laughs> and the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So the truth we know through the scriptures never left the earth, but it was just without fruit, including the name that was given, including Yahweh's name. All right. So when it says here, it was recent, it was recent, it's recent, it's going to be recent because it's going to be brought back into the remembrance of the men of the Lord, okay? So let's get that. Second Peter 3 and 1, all right? And we just go go through this. I mean, there's various precepts that I have, but I might not bring them all out, but I may post some of them, but through the spirit, you know, brothers are seeing it, all right? Um... Second Peter three and one. This epistle, this second epistle, beloved, I write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by remembrance. All right. So we 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 know through the scriptures that there will be a remembrance coming. Let's get Jude uh, one, which I love the book of Jude, man. It resonates with me, you know. Um, it says, uh, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. Okay, so so he said, I will put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. So our minds had to be activated, and how were they activated? Through the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Now let's, let's get a quick understanding on the Comforter. I'm just gonna read these scriptures. All right. Um, let's see. Um, 
I'm just gonna read these scriptures and, and hopefully brothers can get the understanding all right ecclesiastes 4 and 1 so i returned and considered all the oppressions that were done under the sun and behold the tears of such as were oppressed and they had no comforter and there were and and and, and on the side of the oppressors there was power but they had no comforter so there would be a point where the nation of israel didn't have a comforter where we wouldn't have understanding of who we were certain things would happen to us and we wouldn't have the answer all right now we have the answer through the comforter all right john 14 and 26 but the comforter which is the holy ghost whom the father will send in my name he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you all right including the name okay so we have a clear understanding all right uh baruch 2 and 32 and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name so the name would be made new all right just like we go back here all right and we get the word new all right new as respects uh form recently made fresh recent unused unworn so there will become a time where the name would be unused all right but it would be new that didn't mean it never existed okay so this name that it's talking about <laughs> is not going to be a new name it's going to be a refreshed name that is given to the particular men that have already been ordained to overcome and how are they overcome they are given a white stone who was the author of that white stone the most high set up Yahawashai to justify those all right and die for that particular church all right and there would be an order always on the planet earth which would be uh would stand for the name would always go by what the scriptures say and fit the description of the of the men who were hated in the scriptures okay so let's see here um let's get jeremiah 6 and 16 all right Jeremiah 6 and 16, thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way and see, all right, and this sit down is raw, I'm doing this basically just wrote down some notes and through the spirit, hopefully brothers are edified and understand what is being said, all right, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way and walk therein, including the men of the Lord including the leadership including the church you have to understand that there is a particular church all right that always held fast to the doctrine all right now we believe through the faith that on the planet earth today coming back in the last days is the apostles of great millstone and the men who even don't have great millstone on their name but te that teach that doctrine and give those men honors okay that's just our faith if you don't get mad so the scriptures tell you to seek the old paths. Yahweh tells you to seek the old paths. The word Hebrew means from the past, all right? So <laughs> we have a vast um, heritage, you know, and, and the name is written in that, okay? So let's see. I think that's pretty much it, you know, through the spirit. Let's go back to here to Revelations and go over it. Um, it says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, we already know, there's people that are going to overcome. Will I give to eat of hidden manna, all right, which is the truth, the word, all right, the oil, all right, that will be given to the men of the Lord, all right, and they would be a sweet savor unto the most high, all right. They would be the ones who the truth dwell with, all right. So they have already overcome. They've been chosen to eat of hidden manna all right they're gonna have the truth all right and i will give him a white stone which we know now that it represent in the ancient roman church you get a white stone if you were acquitted you get a black stone if you if if, if the glove didn't fit okay <laughs> or if the glove fit so either way it go we know through the scriptures what this is saying here in the, in, in the bible all right and it says 
and in the stone a new name written all right in the stone a new name so that name all right it was already from the beginning okay we know that it's just going to be refreshed all right there's going to be a remembrance that goes on in the planet earth as you hear in the scriptures he promised he said i will bring you into remembrance okay raise up the men like we, we read here Sirach 36 and 15 give testimony unto those that thou has possessed from the beginning chosen from the foundation of the earth and raise up prophets that have been in thy name so they would come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai. now we know that there's a falling away that will come and ultimately we will forget it but we will be brought back into remembrance by the comforter which we once didn't have okay um Lamentations 1 and 16 For these things I weep My eye My eye runneth down with water Because the comforter That ha that should relieve my soul Is far from me There would be a point in history Where we wouldn't have a comforter We would we would be in a situation Where we didn't whew, Understand Okay That should relieve my soul Is far from me Alright So that we would we, There's always a comforter That was would come all right uh to the nation of israel and it came through the form of yahushai who was the lion of judah in revelations the fifth chapter who opened the understanding to the children of israel the elect of the children of israel all right oh, let's see here. so all right so that white stone represents what the mark and uh, um um uh Ezekiel 9 and 4, all right? The Wa, all right? Exempt from judgment. So the white stone is, is is given to these men. Like it says, blessed is the man, all right? All right? All right? Psalms 32 and 2. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered okay so ultimately through the spirit i feel like i've made my point all right we know that the overcome are the elect all right they will have the truth they will be the ones that are justified in the end all right and they're gonna get the name they're gonna get a refreshed name these are the ones which are going to have the name okay and the overcoming don't happen at the end of the world and then the lord just decides who he's going to choose and who's going to be delivered no it was already written from the beginning of the story okay so all praise to yahweh by shimmy oh oh one more scripture one more scripture and, and on that note we'll leave off here all right sorry salakia from all over the place but you know It is sometimes Psalms 113 and 3 from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. All right, so what we're gonna do is give all praise to the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai, whom He used to create everything that we see before us. All right. We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. We want to give blessings to the elect, the true body, the true church, the men that are going to stand, not take the mark of the beast, and are ultimately written in the book of life. All right. Shalom.